All right, YouTube, I'm back. Um, well, not working on all blue today, unfortunately. Uh, my daily has recently kind of um, took a little bit of a hit, let's say. it. Uh, the back driver's side caliper is seized, and I had to drive it to work like that because, you know, I don't have... Uh, Hyundai parts everywhere, so yeah, um, I'm working on that, so uh, I have all the parts, and uh, we're going to tear this thing down, and uh, I will show you guys the damage, so let me get set up for that, and uh, we'll go from there. So... Uh, got the car lifted up. Um, have a jack stand where you guys obviously can't see it, but it's so the car doesn't, you know, come off the jack. And also have the jack holding the car up, just safety. You know how that goes. Um, so I'm about to tear this thing apart, and I'm gonna set you guys up so you guys can watch me. And uh, whew, let's hopefully I can get my uh, my daily back uh, stopping as she should. Um, just know, eventually this car will have uh, Brembo's on it from a, a Genesis Coupe and rotors and stainless steel brake lines, but that'll be down the road. Um, but anyhow, let's get started. I'm gonna get set up so you guys can watch me. So let's, let's get to that. Tires are a little more worn than I thought. Still a little life left in them, but uh, eh. All right, not bad. I was expecting worse. Let's get this out of the way. It's definitely seized. 100% seized. I can tell you that. Look at that. Look that piston sticking out. Wow. Look how it's like at an angle. Sorry guys. Kind of hard to get all this. Uh, I'm going to put you guys right where the action is here. you guys can see isn't that crazy car is 150,000 about 150,500 or so miles give or take and of course this rotor is not even a year old <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Let me uh, let me go get some more stuff here, so I can take get this rotor off. I mean, this is this rotor's done. Great. That's great. Ah, oh, wonderful. I got something to fix this. I just Can't believe that worked. Cool. All right. Let's 
Look at that. Pads, pads damn near gone. Look at that. Wow. I was definitely metal on metal. Too big. Oops, sorry about that guys. Don't sue me. This thing is bent. I don't think this clamp's gonna be enough. Is it smaller? Is that the same? All right, so I'm gonna take this off, this bracket, since the new caliper comes with all that. And uh, I'll start back up when I get to that point, guys. Coming along, a lot better than I thought it would it would be. All right, guys, um, got it tore down. So I'll give you a little view of uh, the carnage, even though you guys probably seen it already. Um, yeah, this, this, this old caliper, she's, uh, she's done. And again, I know I could probably rebuild it, but I'll probably strip all the bolts off of it and um, <laughs> toss it. Because if I ever do change the calipers on this car again, it's not going to be factory. It'll be it'll be the Brembos from the Genesis Coupe. What's odd is it's seized from the back, but this is smooth. Like it has a lip on the outside. Which is which is pretty common. Um, it's just really odd that it, you know, it pushes, you know, from the back. You know, you got pads front and back, but like, uh, that's just odd to me that it failed that way. You would think it would have ate the front and the back. Put in the comments what you think. Why do you think that happened? That's and this could probably be turned down, truthfully, but. You know, this is my daily for now. And I just, just for peace of mind, I'm just going to replace it. But I mean, I bought this car in 2014 with 16,000 miles on it and has 150. And the only, you know, the couple of things I've had to do, I've put sets of tires. I've had to put a battery, an alternator. Um brakes i've done the brakes uh the fan for the radiator for the cooling system went out and there was another sensor or whatever i was two thousand dollars just to fix those things so oh and the driver's side valve cover gasket was leaking change that i mean that's stuff that's going to wear out anyway um i know everybody laughs at hyundai's and all this and that but um I've taken a few people to Gapplebee's in this car. This, for a big car, this thing moves out. It uses all 429 horses. So I love it. I've never driven this car any day of the week that it doesn't put a smile on my face. So I think if I'd blow the engine up in this car, I would just buy another one and swap it in. I love it that much. 
it's been probably the greatest car I've ever owned as far as, you know, been able to bring the family around, take trips in it and stuff like that. And we can get this old girl back on the road and uh, get her back up into fighting shape. Um, it's a couple of maintenance things. And I'm going to hand make an intake for this car. Um, I got a couple of ideas um, that I want to try out and we'll give that a shot and see how that goes. But I'm going to show you guys uh, the parking brake. Um, honestly, it looks really good considering the, the hell I put it through this week. Um, I mean, this thing's still got a ton of meat left on it. Everything in here is a good shape. Uh, my little clamps um, held everything. I saw this trick on Wheeler Dealer way back in the day when it used to be good before the fat guy made Ed China quit. I just call him the fat guy because he's, you know, he's a fat douche. She looks good, man. She looks really good. Still got all the factory markings on it because I, you know, I don't mess with the pork and break or none of that stuff because uh, that's beyond my pay grade. But anyhow, guys, I'm going to start assembling everything and... Well, let me show you the parts before I do that. These are the brake pads that I had on it. I always use Power Stop stuff or Wagner thermal quads, depending on the vehicle. Um, and this is OEM replacement. Believe it or not, never heard of this company, but. Still has the same markings as the other caliper. Of course, this one, this one looks much, much better, and it's not seized, so that's a plus. So, and you guys will see the rotor when I put it on there. But uh, let me get this on there, and uh, I'll show you guys right before I put the rim and tire and all that back on. Look how nice and shiny and. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the grease on there. Um, probably most of you that watch this channel already know all this information, but I feel that, you know, if you don't, uh, you will now. Whenever you put new rotors on a car, always, 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 always clean it with a brake cleaner or a carb cleaner and get all this grease off because this is coated on the rotor from the factory so that it doesn't rust in the box before anybody could ever use it. So... And this is a power stop rotor. Um, it's exactly what I had on the car. It wasn't the rotor's fault that the caliper failed. So um, I'm putting exactly back what I had on it. Let me show you guys what I do. Got to get the back too. I'll get the front right now. See all that stuff that's coming off? That won't... Uh, that won't let the car, or the pads rather, um, seat correctly if that's on the rotor. Let me just take these off. Show you how you're supposed to do it. to do it like this I know you think oh well, it's backwards well this way you can get both sides at once don't forget the inside because you got your parking brake too That's also coated. All right. Now, now you can, we can proceed. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys. That's how it's supposed to be. I don't know if the, if the new pads came with the little the new pieces. Sure didn't. I'll steal them off of the old one. So, uh, stealing the brackets off of this. Because I guess brake pad companies don't want to send you a 50 cent piece of uh, metal here. So, I'm going to steal it off of this old one. Pop it onto the new one. Get ready to put the pads and then start putting her back together yeah. I mean, look at the look at this one and look at this one hmm all right let's pop these back in there And these have these little plates on there so you guys uh, you know i know you probably none of y'all have this car but i'm not i'm sure these aren't the only pads that have them have the little shield on there make sure y'all put that on there And I mean, obviously, guys, you want this to be tight, but you uh, you also don't want to He-Man it on there to where if you have to take it off for whatever reason later, you're not uh, having to drill bolts out or cut bolts out or trust me, you don't want to go that route. if you guys can notice that on camera but this even the brackets a little more straight Everybody said they lose the 10 millimeter. I never lose my 10 millimeter. I lose my 14. Tell if that makes any freaking sense. And if you guys are wondering why this moves, it's supposed to because it's a floating caliper. That's what these uh, little ribs are here. Again, I know most of you that are watching this are probably car guys have done brake jobs before, Just, but just for those that don't know, um, 
that's what it's for that's most oem stuff um aside from cars that come with brembo's obviously because brembo's are not um floating calipers these are so but that is it um i should just have to bleed this a hair and uh get somebody to press the brake there in the car and she should be ready to rip i'll show you guys the uh, finished product here nice huh very nice but uh this should take care of it guys but, uh, either way it goes there will be more old blue content coming thanks for being patient uh with the old blue content i promise you guys it's coming um got a lot of cool stuff planned hopefully we can go through with all those plans and uh import an evo hmm we'll see later guys